Hello, you all. Are you all sick of hearing about five years after Katrina, Zion? It's all that's been on all the news channels all day. Now, I love Fox News, but I'm sick of them talking about Katrina, Katrina, and New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans. Did they not know where Katrina hit? It hit in Mississippi. There was damage in Alabama. But it hit in Mississippi, not New Orleans. New Orleans was damaged by the levees breaking, by water. They should have all had flood insurance. If you live below flood level, you should have insurance. And then Brad and his honey, Angelina, wouldn't be down there taking credit for rebuilding New Orleans. Oh, they built 59 greenhouses or something. Well, I'm proud for them. But they ought to build three or 400 greenhouses for people down there. With the money they have, their charity has built 59. Does that mean they gave the money or they got it from their rich friends? Brad, quit worrying about BP. Go down there and do what you said you were going to do. Help all those people in the Ninth Ward. And be sure you have them flood insurance this time. Because when you live... In New Orleans, you should have flood insurance. And those mayors and that governor, that mayor, not mayors, but that mayor and the governor of Louisiana, they didn't do anything. They were hightailing and out of town. The mayor was sending his furniture to Dallas along with his family, but he wasn't getting those poor people out of the night the ward out. But he was up in that hotel on about the 20th floor, if there was one, keeping his self high and dry. But yet where it hit in New Orleans, in Mississippi, that mayor and that governor took care of everything. They didn't have flood insurance, but they had homeowners insurance. But the insurance companies didn't want to pay them. You know why? Because they wanted to say it wasn't wind damage, it was flood damage. And they weren't going to pay. But they didn't all sit around hollering, poor old me, poor old me. When is somebody going to come help me? When is Brad Pitt going to come help me? They got up and they did something. And the people did something. And they rebuilt it. It happened in Alabama. You didn't see the governor of Alabama crying, poor little bit of loss. Get off of it. New Orleans... It happened, it's over. It was the levees. It should have been fixed years ago. You should have had flood insurance. You should have had a decent mayor. And all those people that were stealing stuff, now if you were hungry, I'd have gone and stole it myself. But what were you gonna do with those big screen TVs and all those shoes, all that stuff you were stealing? That wasn't food. And stealing is stealing. So when you should have been worried about getting out of New Orleans or taking care of your house, you were out there stealing. So let's get off of New Orleans. Let them rebuild. Let Brad and Angelina rebuild New Orleans. And the people that live there, let them rebuild it, just like the people in Mississippi did, and quit hollering, poor me. And please, for God's sakes, Fox News, get off of it. I am sick of it. Do you hear me? I am sick of hearing about New Orleans. Now, let's go on to the other thing. I'm sick of hearing about Al Sharpton today, too. Glenn Beck had his rally. Oh, well, that made poor Al so mad because his rally wasn't as big, I guess. Do they think they own Martin Luther King? It's just like Glenn Beck said. They don't own Martin Luther King. We don't own own. George Washington or Abraham Lincoln or anything else. So Glenn Beck had his rally. It was peaceful. It was a good rally. It was about bringing people back to God and back to their country. But Paul Al, he's upset. He's upset because Glenn didn't talk about civil rights. That was what Glenn said he was going to do, talk about civil rights, and he didn't do it. And they couldn't steal Martin Luther King. And yeah, 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 yeah. Well, when you know what I think about when I think about Al Sharpton? 
that 15-year-old girl he was defending years ago that I'm not sure he wasn't part of putting all that stuff on her. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all don't, just call me up and I'll tell you. And he was ordained at four. Now, tell me a four-year-old that knows how to preach. I'm sick of Fox News. Now, I love Fox, but they have Al on there all the time. And Al's talking about this, and he's talking about that. And he's supposed to be a minister, and they act like they just love him to death. I don't like you, Al. Don't like anything you stand for. You are a whiny crybaby, and I'm sick of listening to you. And Fox, I'm going to do just what I told Joy Behar to do. When you bring him on, I'm going to hit that little channel button, and I'm going to look at one of those other news stations because I'm sick of Al and his crying. I mean, Martin Luther King's niece was there today. She didn't see anything wrong. It wasn't racist. It was trying to bring people back to God. And then he wants to say, oh, how can it be bringing people back together? That's the Reverend Al. Can't bring people back together when the schools aren't equal. The jobs aren't equal. Well, you know what? You can go to a white school or a black school or any other kind of school. But if you don't want to learn, you're not. I'm going to tell you, just like I tell everybody, it needs to start at home. If the parents would put more time in with the kids, quit worrying about themselves, and Bill Crosby's right, parents should go back, and black parents should go back and quit blaming slavery. That was a long time ago. Nobody paid me when I was six years old for picking cotton. Nobody worried about me when... We had cotton in our house stored in there, and one of my brothers set it on fire and left me in the room. Well, I don't see anybody trying to get any money from me because Gene tried to burn me up. Thank God my mama stopped it somehow. But, you know, we all had hard times. Let's forget all this crap. And Al, go out there and tell these parents to do take care of their children. And it's not just blacks anymore, I'm telling you. The whites are not taking care of theirs. If you go to these schools and see what goes on, and Al, I go to schools where, where there are Mexicans, there are whites, there are blacks, there are Koreans, there are Indians. Those kids don't care. Why don't you get off this crap? These kids are not racist. Now, maybe in our generation, there was a lot of problems. But it's over, just like slavery is over. Just like my days of picking cotton are over. But I did it. Would you get somebody to pay me because I pick cotton? Because I live with outhouses and kerosene lamps? That's why we had matches to light that cotton on fire, because we didn't have electricity. Now, I was born up there where the Indians are in Porch, Alabama. You reckon I have any Indian in me? I think I'm a little too light to have any Indian in me. So they wouldn't give me any money. Shut up, Al. I'm sick of you. Leave Glenn Beck alone. And all you Democrats are out there and all you people that left-wingers that can't find anything to say good about Sarah Palin, just shut up. I don't know what y'all going to do if she disappears because everything that goes wrong, it's not Bush anymore. It's Sarah Palin. Well, I'll tell you what, I think that mama bear is going to fight you back. I don't think she's going to be as nice as Bush was. God, I wish I could meet that woman. I'd get up there and help her just fight back to you crazy people. Why do you blame Sarah Palin for everything? What she do to you? Is it because she's a woman? Is that what it is? Y'all don't like her because she's a woman? We're smarter than y'all anyway. I don't know. Y'all just all crazy. You own Sarah? Let me tell you who to get on. Get on the Iman's wife. He's flying all over the world and we're paying for it. We paid him $200 a day to go over there and talk about us. Now he talks about us. If you go back and read the things he said, you'll know he shouldn't be doing what he's doing. I don't know. I'm where the Bush did it or, and now Obama's doing it. But if whoever did it, they're all crazy. But if you look to him, and what he says, and have you seen his wife? She doesn't wear a burka. Honey, she's high style. I mean, makeup, the hair, the clothes, 
Nothing covered up about that woman. So, do they have two styles of Islam? One, if you have money, you don't wear the burqa. And if you don't have money, you do work, wear it. I don't understand. I don't want any of that burqa mess over here. I've already told y'all I'm not going to wear it. I mean, I have all these bad spots and all that crap, but I'm not covering them up with a burqa. I think they look pretty good. They look better than that burqa. So all you crazy people out there, leave us alone. Let America get back to what it was. Glenn Beck had the right idea. And you know, I don't even know. I'm rattling on because I'm so mad tonight. I don't even know what in the hell I'm saying. But I know one thing. Al Sharpton needs to go away. The Emine needs to go away. Brad and Angelina need to shut up and just build houses with all that money they have. And they have lots of friends that have money. They could build everybody a house. I think that's what they ought to do. How to shut up, build everybody a house, and just live in New Orleans and be happy. Hmm. What do y'all think? Well, I'll be back in a little while tonight because I know I'm going to be mad about something else before the night's over. It's just been one of those days where every damn thing has gone wrong. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, do you hear me? I didn't have slaves. I was a slave, poor white trash myself. What? Get off of it! Do you hear me? Get off of it. This is Nana Unplugged. I'm just going to go find me something else to fuss about. All I have to do is walk out in the yard or turn on the television. But this is Nana Unplugged saying good night.